and uh, you know, I wanted to do a melange of colors. I like the emotional quality of dyeing. And I have a green guest room, and I needed fun so, sheets. So, so that's I went what you to, did. So that's what we did. We I went love. to Macy's, and I said, we need to find something to over dye. Can't get the right color. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry we don't make your colors. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I have all my merchants and designers watching this show. It, it makes it really you personal. May. And the first, the best part was is that all the little, you know, um, flowers around the edge that are done with thread technique don't take the dye, so they so they great. get graphic. I love that. And I think it's important to personalize. So the ombre home. look, do you like that for sheets, the ombre look? Uh, I do. I like it when it's a mixed, yeah. when, when the ombre becomes melange itself. Right. I think that's what's interesting. And we did it in our clothing as well. We went from these beige colors yeah, into some black. Over here. I mean, this, Almost as if you blew out yeah. a candle in the smoke. Well, this, this is ombre. You're going from a dark down to a very, very pale. Exactly. And then... Who wore this? Uh, this that is was fabulous. worn by Christina Ricci, wow. the underdress, and yeah. then the dress was, and the whole outfit was worn by a model, Hilary Rota, in my show in Paris. And we took our collection to Paris, which was extremely oh. a dream and oh, yeah. was exciting. Um, the energy there and the creativity and sort of the eye for craft, which is what I'm obsessed with. Well, I want to thank Zach too, because he came to my Center for Living benefit. This is the Mount Sinai Center for Living that I established, and, uh, and he bought the internship. Thank you. Did, yeah. Now um, we still don't know who's going to be uh, who's going to be the intern. Have well, you chosen somebody? I mean, I would somebody? love to be your intern. Well, I've, I've, more than anything, you know, I think for years I've dreamt to be an intern. But I made you. It, I, I made you. A, be for, for, I made you a little huh? intern pack. This wow. Is, this is a little tool belt with all the tools, and you have your own temporary pass. That's hysterical. Pass. Zach Posen temporary pass. Amazing. I'm now, gonna break in. Okay. So what would be the hardest thing? that I would do oh, as an intern. really hard. We're I gonna, want to compare our, our, you know. You're gonna, might have to write a book while you're there in six, it's for six. Like a manual? Six months, yeah, a whole manual, how to. Well, let's, let's. Okay, let's well, go let, to. Let's see how you show me, you're gonna show me, I've never died uh, in an ombre. Um, uh, it's look. really, really easy uh, and You're simple. gonna show me, and if, if he's. It's basically if, a one, two, three process. I, I bet you have a book in you. Maybe, mm. we'll see. <laughs> Soon. And you might even get paid a little extra if uh, the book is really good. If it's really juicy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a sham. Yeah, exactly. So you have the sheet. Yes. So first what you have to do is you have to get the finish off. A lot of sheets and fabrications, even ones that I get from all around the world, have a finish so on them. So should they be washed so first? So you have to or? wash them. Okay. So we just have a So we a just have to get it all of very hot water. All okay. Just some lukewarm water. You want to okay. get it all sort of evenly Mine's hot. coated. And then what you cannot forget My is My water's hot. Mine hot. is too. You need to take a dowel and go through because sometimes the dye settles on the bottom. Oh, okay. So you just want to take that through and don't worry about the colors mixing. You know, it's okay. totally you're making your own so, colors. This is the weakest. This is a quarter. Uh, mine is a quarter of a bottle of cherry red and uh, Oh, you're both the same? No, we're all the same. Oh, okay. We're, we're we're and two, to two thirds of a bin, and these bins are fantastic for dyeing, by the way. Yeah. And this is medium, a half a bottle of cherry red with an eighth of a bottle of uh, wine. So you and this is the strongest, three quarters of a bottle of wine. Oh, no cherry red. So, so we wring it out. Okay. So I'm already behind. Let's and see. then make sure that there's no dry spots on it. And then we and put it. And use this dye, by the way, RIT. RIT dye. You can get it almost, you know, at any drugstore. It's it's easy to get. There's all kinds of dyes. There's organic dyes. You can even do mm. natural dyes uh, with juices. I've done. I've done. You know, we do know tea staining, coffee long. staining with clothing. I don't, I don't know if they last as long. I tea stained uh, all my. Oh, I I have Venetian blinds, so I tea stained all the tapes to match. You know, so they would look old, and then all the tapes deteriorated. Wow. The the tannic acid in the tea rotted all the tapes. Yep. So then I had to replace them all. Oh no. <laughs> Very horrible. Well we tea stain Charmeuse gowns and then it stays. But oh yes. I don't know. Yeah, if you know I think those tapes how much dry cleaning okay, life so this... they get. So you once you get the okay, color there, look that at that out. beautiful oh. I like was. cherry red. How about just cherry red? That's good too. I think it's nice mm. to balance solids in there. You know it's all about creating just a area that you want to just like Get a great book okay. and lie down so now, and read and and which way ombre um, any way cross, you want. I think that's I think what I'll do is important. This way, crosswise. Okay. I'm gonna go down that way. Okay. So now half. So you go halfway through, and you just want to try to put it in evenly, and try to get the whole length of it on a diagonal. Diagonal? What are you talking about? Well, so you can get the whole. 
and you just want to set it in there. And how long does it stay in the darker? It depends. You know, I like to do for about like 20 seconds. Oh, I think okay. you get a nice color. And then you want to let that sit. And then here's the really good trick to get the even blend. What you want to do is you want to go back into one here. That creates like an even coat over oh. the whole sheet. Oh. And that's what creates... The whole thing? The magic illusion, the whole thing. Okay. Go in there. Okay. And you pull out. And you okay. can't see, but... It's definitely lighter up here to the dark. And then you want to... I can't see it all. Ring it out. I see it. <laughs> okay. And then... Now, this is fun. Do this in your basement. Don't do it on your white marble countertops. No, no white shirts. No, no Otherwise, white Otherwise, you'll shirts. be dying ombre white shirts. Okay, so now... Which are nice, too. So now you go into the darkest coloration of the bath on the diagonal. You just want to dip in... Just like a the, quarter way up? A quarter way up and just... You know, it's going to create the final emotion of, of the pillow. Mm. But these colors are just so luscious. It's like oh. good sorbet. It is. Like, this, mm -hmm. is like, this is like red raspberry yeah, sorbet. Yeah, exactly. OK. So well, then, mine's definitely darker. I see yeah, that. Yeah, you can start to see the darkness there. And then there. what? And then you put it in the cold bath. Oh, and you let and it so set. you don't put this one back into the lighter? No. Oh, okay. I think it's good like this. It okay. looks nice. Yes, there, cold bath to set. To set, and you really let it set and then you can dry it and then, you know, you can take an iron over it and that gives it like a final, a final set. setting. Okay. And then you can sort of see what they start to Wait, look I like over see. there. Wait a minute, I wanna see. Let's see how yours came out. Look. Really beautiful and I think, you know, <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. If I start ombreing everything in sight, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I love this idea, and I love the colors that you chose, and they really are. I mean, they, they're they're different. That's amazing. So that's in your bedroom? It's in our guest bedroom. Really? In, 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 a, in a big green room that looks like Versailles. Like where, on your farm? No, in, in, in my house in oh, New York City. It's, wow. it's a turn-of-the-century sort oh. of grand room, and, and I wanted to create something that felt a little bohemian and hot yeah. and cozy and a great place to well, read and for guests. I think it's fantastic. Zach? Yes. Good luck with everything, thank and you. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to take your I'm tool really... belt thank you. and your and encyclopedia of crafts. Not that you need it, thank but you. you might.